I want to illustrate the importance of understanding the distribution of missing data. And to do this, we're going to look at a very simple data set. We're going to imagine we're interested in the difference in the average earnings of men and women. And by the way, all of these figures are completely fictitious, right? But in this data set, there are no missing values. And so we can see that in men, the average earning is about $5,000 a month. And in women, the average earning is about 4,600, a little less. Now let's look at the same data set, but let's imagine that there is some, some missing data or not available or NA. And in this example, imagine that the distribution of the missing data is random. Can you see that the average earning or the difference between men and women hasn't changed much? And this is because the missingness is random, that the missing data is evenly distributed between these two groups because of the randomness of it. If we look at another example of the same data set, and here we've got missing data that seems to be evenly distributed between the two groups, and yet in this case, there is a substantial impact on the average income between the two groups. And the reason for this is that the missingness isn't random, right? There's a pattern to it, but the pattern isn't obvious. And you sometimes need to look at the distribution of your missing data in relation to another variable other than the ones that you're actually looking at. And in this case, the data had only been collected from people living in cities, and the absence of rural data represented a systematic bias in the data set. Now, this isn't a showstopper. We can still analyze the data. But when you report the, your findings, you need to be very clear that the difference in the earnings between men and women in this data set represented urban data only, right? Now, let's take a look at the various strategies that you can employ when you're faced with missing data. Let's imagine that we've got missing data all over our data set. I'm going to walk you through five things that you can do to deal with these missing values. The first thing that we can do is we can delete all rows with missing data. But that's going to take out almost your entire data set. So it's almost invariably a bad strategy. Something else that you can do is you can delete just the rows where there is missing data from a specific variable. Now, if you look at the names variable, we don't care too much that the, the actual names are missing because we're not going to analyze this data by individual names, right? So our third strategy for missing data is we might want to change missing values in a particular variable to something else. We've changed them to unknown. Or we might have the exact opposite problem, right? There is data that is actually missing, but it hasn't been identified as missing in the data set. In this case, we've got zeros instead of missing. So, we, so our, our fourth strategy is we can change values in a variable into missing data. Those zeros have been changed into NA or missing data. And finally, we might want to replace missing values with what our best guess is as to what that value should be. And this is something called imputation. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.